Okay, so if you will join me standing, and I will talk to you about who this is and why he is important to us today. Okay, so come to a position with your feet where you feel grounded into the earth. And ideally, your feet will touch, your ankles will touch, your knees will touch, and your thighs will touch. So this is Ta, P-T-A-H. Ta is the god of creativity. And you can see from him seated in the chair that he's got all of his legs together. So even if you are seated in a chair, just make sure that you are seated tall. If you can, root your feet into the earth. If not, just make sure that the back of your spine is flat against the chair. And so this is the natural curve of my back, which is perfectly fine. All of us have it, but I'm going to encourage you today to try to flatten it. So I want you to tilt your pelvis towards the earth and squeeze your belly button into your side. So if you can see, that's my natural curve. And this is the activation. So sometimes I use my hands to remind me that my belly button, my abs come in and my pelvis comes down. So we're zipped up here in the body. Tilting the pelvis, abs are in. Right hand comes in front of the chest in a comedic fist. And then the left hand comes top on top so that the fists are touching. All right, so loose fists, palms on the inside, thumbs on the outside. We are holding the scepter up top, which you can see here on the left. Usually we have our elbows out to the side and we'll do this in a second, but right now when we embody ta, I want you to squeeze your elbows into your side. So tuck your chin slightly so the back of your neck is long, your shoulders are down out of your ears, and you're zipped up just like Tom, God of creativity. And then I invite you to start a rule of four breathing. So first, you'll inhale, expand your belly. One, two, pause at the top of the breath. Three, exhale out through the mouth. And four, pause at the bottom of the breath. So at your own pace, you'll inhale, pause, and exhale. Pause. Now there's no number for counting your breath. You don't have to inhale for four, pause for four, exhale for four. Just do whatever works best for your lung capacity. As you inhale, bring the energy up, expand the belly. Pause. And then exhale out through the mouth, bring the belly button to the spine and breathe. So we are embodying Ta here. We are embodying the God of creation. Ta represents the creative mind. Ta represents the transformative force that turns a creative thought into action and material reality. Inhale. Pause and exhale. Pause. So the first step in my conceptualization of creativity is the ask. So in this position, I want you to ask. First, I want you to bring to mind a problem that you'd like to solve or a project that you'd like to start. So set an intention for that problem or that project as you inhale. Pause and exhale. And then I'd like you to ask whomever you ask for support to support you in answering your question or starting your project. So maybe for you, it's God, it's the divine, it's spirit. Maybe it's your inner child. Maybe it's your higher self. Whomever it is that you ask for assistance, ask for assistance in your problem or your project as you inhale. Pause and exhale. Pause. And now I want you to let it go. Completely let it go for the rest of the practice. We've done our ask. Sometimes, keep reading. We aren't as creative as we need to be because we're asking the wrong questions. And sometimes we're not as creative as we need to be because we haven't asked for support. So continue to breathe. Close your eyes if you feel comfortable in your space. If you would like to, 
you would like to close your eyes again, you can if that makes you comfortable. This is Ta again, this is Ramses and the gods of Memphis and Ta, because we can see him all zipped up here holding his scepter is first. Sekhmet is, Sekhmet is his wife and Nefertarim is his son. Breathe, inhale. Pause and exhale. Now when you're ready, release your scepter, bring your hands down by your sides, walk your feet out a little bit so that they're hips width apart, and we're going for a walk in place. So when you're ready, shift your weight into the balls of your left foot so your left heel is off the ground, and then lower your left heel to the ground at the same time that you bring the weight into the balls of your right foot. Now this can be very chunky for you, if that's what you like, or you can make it more fluid where you're actually going for a walk. Maybe you swing your arms as you go for a walk. Maybe you let your hips sway a little bit as you go for a walk. But sometimes to be creative, we have to get out of our heads and into nature and into our environment. So we can't go anywhere today because we're on the Zoom, but we're going to do a walking meditation in place. So just find your rhythm, whatever your rhythm is for your walking meditation. Bring a smile to your face. And then we'll talk a little bit about what's going on in our environment. All right, so no matter what happens, I just need you to keep walking. Let's get in touch with our senses. Sometimes we have to get out of our heads and into our bodies to be creative as well. So let's start with our sense of taste. What do you taste? Is it something that you ate recently? Have you had gum, candy, cough drops? Did you just brush your teeth? Do you need to brush your teeth? What's happening with your taste? Keep your chromatic breathing, inhale, exhale, and swallow. What do you taste? Even if you're practicing in a chair, you can still think about your sense of taste. And then also let's think about our sense of smell. What do you smell in your environment? Were you just cooking? Can you smell yourself? Deodorant, perfume? Did you just take a shower? Do you need a shower? What's happening? What do you smell in your environment? What can you notice in your environment that you haven't noticed before? What do you hear in your left ear? Can you hear voices? Can you hear animals? Can you hear traffic? What do you hear in your right ear? The same, something different? Keep walking. Can you bring the sounds together in a symphony? What do you hear in your environment? Someone just closed the car door over to my left. Usually there's some music coming from the neighbors on my right. Engage your senses. What do you see? Look around your room. You don't need to see me on the screen right now. What's happening in your environment? Do you need to clean? When was the last time you looked up at your ceiling? What kind of paint is in your home? Look down. What's happening on the earth? Look at your feet as you take your walk. What can you see in your environment that you haven't seen before? This is also part of our exploration component of creativity, where you just explore your environment one sense at a time. And now what do you feel in your body? If you like me, your legs are starting to talk to you a little bit. <laughs> what do you feel in your quads, in your hamstrings, maybe even in your knees, in your arches, in your calves? So we're putting pressure on the balls of our feet where the reflexology points are. Your pituitary gland is in the center of your big toe. That gland is linked to your intuition point in the center of your forehead or your third eye, which is also an excellent point for creativity and inspiration. Keep walking. Notice what you feel. How do your clothes feel on your skin? Is your heart rate starting to increase? Can you feel that? Can you feel your arms as they sway and touch your body? 
Can you feel your hair on your head, on the back of your neck, on your shoulders? Breathe. Remember, it's inhale and exhale. This is the exploration part of creativity. What can you sense in your environment that you don't normally sense? And then for the last few seconds here, can you pick up the pace on your walk? Can you go just a little bit faster? If you've been with me for a while, you know that we start seated usually and we work in our sesh poses. Well, this is the alternative for that today. It's doing the same thing for our feet. And then slowly reduce your pace until you come back to stillness. And then give your body what it wants. Maybe you need to crunch those toes. Maybe you need to shake out the ankles. Whatever feels good for you here. And then we're going to play a little bit. So now I want you to explore and get in touch with your inner child. Just going to take some movements here. So feet wider than hips distance apart. And just swing like little kids in the playground without a care in the world. Let your arms swing from side to side. Maybe you pick up the opposite foot. This is part pause and part exploration because we're not doing anything but having fun with our bodies here. We're letting the senses go. Maybe we're just exploring the playful part of ourselves. Now you can stay with this swing if you like, or you can come to stillness and grab opposite elbows. So the opposite elbows start at shoulder height, and then you rock them from side to side, from left to right at shoulder height, and then you slowly start to move them up overhead and then come back down to shoulder height. There's always a lot of popping that happens for me in this motion, but it's lubricating our joints. The body has 206 bones, like 300 joints. So this is an opportunity to get into those joints. Up overhead as much as you can. And then look and switch so you're grabbing opposite elbows, same thing, right to left, up and down. The pace that feels comfortable for you. And then you can stay here if you like, this motion feels good to you. Or you can release those arms, take your hands to your hips and start making some hip circles to get into the hips. Again, maybe you like big circles, maybe you like little circles. So whatever feels good for your hips, start to take them around and stay with your breath, right? We're still inhaling, pause, and exhaling through the nose for the rest of the practice. Unless you feel like you really need to release some energy, then of course, breathe out through your mouth. Take your circles in the opposite direction. Also, if you want to increase more heat, tip of the tongue to the back of the teeth as you breathe. And of course, you can stay here or bring your legs together like top and just take knee circles. You can put your hands just above your thighs, get into those knee joints with some knee circles. Take them in both directions. Whenever you feel finished, come to stillness and we'll get into the hip joints again. So we'll shift your weight into your right foot, pick up your left foot, open it out to the side and just bring it around. So let your foot lead you as you bring that whole leg around. And then take it in the opposite direction. We're balancing here and working into the joints. Release the left foot down, switch so you pick up the right, lead with the foot open several times. And then reverse. Oh, if you fall out, just come back in. <laughs> All right, come to stillness and we're gonna walk again, but this time we're walking on the tops of our feet. So shift your weight into your right foot and take the top of your left foot to the earth. Now, if you feel a lot of sensation here, then you just want to stay here for a little while and breathe. But when you're ready, you can release the left foot and bring the top of the right foot to the earth. Notice what you feel there and breathe. 
And if the tops of your feet are already pretty open, you can make it a little more fluid. So your left, right, left, right, on the tops of the feet. Interlace your fingers. And while you're doing that, take figure eights with your wrist. So walking on the tops of the feet, figure eights with the wrist. And if your wrist will allow you, take those figure eights in the opposite direction. I could usually only do it before a few rounds before it just goes back to, to the first direction. <laughs> Breathe. Okay, when you're ready, come back to stillness, shake it out, let it all go. Now it's time to affirm. So we are gonna modify the Tekken sequence from Kometic Yoga into a Ta sequence. And the affirmation that I encourage you to say with me is, I was born with creativity written in my heart. I was born with creativity written in my heart. So if you feel comfortable in your space, say it out loud with me. I was born with creativity written in my heart. So reassume your top position, zip the legs up, feet touch, ankles touch, knees touch, thighs touch, right hand fist in front of the body, left hand, fist on top, hold your scepter. This time we'll have strong forearms and point our elbows out to the side. Tao is said to conceive the elements of creation in his heart and then announce their existence with his divine words. So when we start to twist here, I want you to think of leading with your heart. I was born with creativity written in my heart. Shift your weight over to your right foot. So the left foot is very light. Inhale, exhale, rotate your torso over to the left, your low back, your mid back, and your upper back. Just go as far as you can. Your top scepter should be about a fist width away from your chest. So it's not completely on your chest. You've got a little bit of space. It's our first one. So don't worry about going as far as possible, just as far as natural for your body. Inhale. Exhale, turn your head to look over your right shoulder. Inhale, your head to center. Exhale, turn your head to look over your left shoulder. Inhale, your head, your chest, and your scepter back to center. And exhale. Say it with me. I was born with creativity written in my heart. Shift your weight over to your left foot so you're right in the light foot. Inhale. Exhale, rotate your torso over to the right. Low back, mid back, upper back. Inhale. Exhale, turn your head to look over your left shoulder, just your head. Inhale, your head to center. Exhale, turn your head to look over your right shoulder. Inhale, everything back to center. Exhale, release your scepter. Keep your chromatic fist down by your sides for balance. Shift your weight into your right foot, and this time entirely pick up the left leg. So it's triple flexion. You're bending at the hip, you're bending at the knee, you're flexing at the ankle, and you're balancing. So we just work those feet, which are nice and strong, so you can balance here. Inhale, exhale, parallel your, parallel your leg to the earth. Straighten it as much as you can. Inhale, back to triple flexion. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, bend. And then step your leg out wide. So you're turning to the side of your mat in your wide leg pose. So if you're at the front of your mat, just step your leg wide. Mm -hmm. Release your top fist. Interlace your hands behind your back. Pull your shoulder blades together. Let your chest come forward. Inhale, bend your knees slightly and hinge forward. Let your arms come up overhead. Release the top of your head down towards the earth. Breathe here, pull your shoulder blades together. Maybe the palms of your hands can touch. Breathe, release. You can shift your weight from side to side if it feels good for you by shifting your, your hips. And then when you're ready, bring your hands back down to your low back and slowly rise back up. From your wide leg forward to fold, you can heel toe your feet in or you can jump back into center. We're going back to top. 
zip up, left fist on top of the right, elbows pointing out to the side, I'm just turning so you can see me. Again, make sure that you are emptying the left leg. So your weight is on your right leg, the left leg is light, inhale. Exhale to the left, low back, mid back, upper back. Inhale, release your left fist all the way back. So that left arm is straight. Notice what you feel. Maybe you feel activation in your pecs. Maybe you feel it in your shoulders. Maybe you feel it through that arm. Inhale, exhale, turn your head, slip over your right shoulder. Make sure that right elbow isn't being lazy, that it's pointing straight out. Inhale your head to center. Exhale, look over your extended arm. Inhale, bring your extended arm back to center. So the left fist is stacked up on the right. And we'll do the other side. Shift your weight into your left foot. Inhale. Exhale, low back to the right, mid back, upper back. Inhale, release that right fist straight back behind you. Left top fist is close to your chest. Inhale. Exhale, turn your head to look over your left shoulder. Inhale, your head to center. Exhale, turn your head to look over your extended arm. Inhale, bring everything slowly and mindfully back to center. Exhale here. And repeat after me, I was born with creativity written in my heart. Inhale. Exhale, top fist, come down by your side for balance. Shift your weight into your left leg this time, pick up the right. Same thing that we did before, breathe, balance, triple flexion, inhale, flex that right foot. Exhale, extend it as straight as you can. Inhale, bend. Exhale, extend. Inhale, bend. Exhale, extend. Inhale, bend. Exhale, step wide. Release your fists, get comfortable in your wide leg stance. Hands on your hips. Again, try that thing where you tilt your pelvis forward a little bit, so pull your belly button into your spine. And then exhale, hinge forward. Release your hands from your hips. Hands come to the earth. Right hand in front of your face. Inhale, left hand traces the right arm, extends up towards the sky. Stack your shoulders. Again, lead with your heart. Open your heart over to the left. Stack your shoulders, inhale. Exhale, turn your head to look towards the earth. Inhale, your head to center. Exhale, look towards the sky. Inhale, bring your heart and your hand back towards the earth. Left hand in front of your face. On your next inhale, trace your left arm with your right. Reach the right arm up to the sky, stack your shoulders. Inhale, exhale, turn your head towards the earth. Inhale, your head center. Exhale, turn your head to look at the sky. Inhale, bring your head, excuse me, bring your heart and your hand down towards the earth. Release your neck, crown of the head points towards the earth. Bend your knees slightly if you need to here, deep forward fold. When you're ready, hands return to your hips. Slowly inhale. Come back up to standing. And again, heel toe or jump to zip back up into top. I was born with creativity written in my heart. Left fist on top of the right, right in front of your chest. Forearms strong, elbows pointing out to the side. Shift your weight into your right foot. Loose on your left foot, inhale. Exhale, over to the left, low back, mid back, upper back. Inhale, release your right arm straight back behind you. Exhale, bend that arm at 90 degrees. Keep your fist, breathe. Now notice how bending the arm might change the sensation in the front and the back of your shoulder. Make sure that that left forearm is strong and the elbow is pointing right, excuse me, your right forearm is strong, the right elbow is pointing forward, inhale. Exhale, turn your head, look over your right shoulder. Inhale, your head to center. Exhale, turn your head to look over your bent arm. Inhale, everything back to center, return to your toss-up. 
Shake out your shoulders a little bit if you need to. Shift your weight into your left foot. Inhale, exhale to the right, low back, mid back, upper back. Inhale, reach your right arm straight back behind you. Keep your fist. Exhale, bend that arm at 90 degrees. Inhale. Exhale, turn your head to look over your left shoulder. Inhale, your head to center. Exhale, turn your head to look over your right shoulder. Inhale, bring everything back to center. Exhale, return to your ta scepter. I was born with creativity written in my heart. Inhale. Exhale. Release your fists down by your sides. And we're coming into full expression of pose of immortality. If you know that that might be a little too much on the tops of your feet, or when we started to walk on the tops of their feet, if that was a lot for you, then you can just come down into a lunge and we'll meet you here in this lunge. If you'd like to try the full expression, zip up again into top, left fist on top, elbows in by your sides. Triple flexion, shift your weight into your right foot and pick up your left foot. Maybe you rotate that ankle in preparation. Work on your balance and then just take a natural step back. So whatever your leg will naturally do, you don't want to go too far, you don't want to bend the knees, just take a natural step back wherever that is for you on the tops of your feet. And when you're ready, inhale, exhale, lower yourself down slowly and mindfully by bending both knees, keeping a straight spine, and coming down to a kinetic seat so that your left knee is in alignment with the arch of your right foot. Inhale, exhale, rotate your torso over to your open side, over to your left side. And again, if this is too much, then just come up into a lunge. The tricep comes inside your right leg. So open your right leg with your tricep. Inhale, exhale, open your arms with the loose fists. So Ta was linked to He, who is the God that we see in the pose of immortality. Inhale, exhale, turn your head to look over your right shoulder. Inhale, your head to center. Exhale, look over your left shoulder. Inhale, your vision, your heart, and your fists forward. Exhale, bring your fists into your chest, left on top of the right, elbows down by your sides as ta, and we're going up the same way we came in. So when you're ready, inhale, shift your weight forward, and come back to standing. When you come to standing, pick up that left foot, and then open it wide. So we're in a wide leg stance. And this is where you're gonna lose me just slightly. So you're pointing your left toes to the back end of your mat, probably. And then you're going to come up into triple flexion. So you're keeping your top, triple flexion, balancing on your left foot, and then take that natural step back. And we'll do the other side. So the left foot is in front this time, the right foot is back. When you're ready, inhale. Exhale, lower yourself down to the earth, slowly and lunge. Come to that lunge if that works better for you. Inhale, rotate your torso over to your open side. That right tricep comes inside the right leg to help you open up, keep your fists. Inhale, now open your arms with your fists. Open your heart. Inhale. Exhale, turn your head to look over your left shoulder. Inhale, your head to center. Exhale, turn your head to look over your right shoulder. Inhale, your heart, your arms, your vision, your fists forward. Exhale, bring your fists into your chest, left comes on top of the right. Inhale. And then exhale, bring your hands to the earth. Come through tabletop. And we'll come down to Mesu Haru, Sons of Haru or Child's Pose. So you can open your knees as wide as your mat. Bring your big toes to touch behind you. Bring your glutes to your heels, form a pyramid, delta or rock nation pyramid, the center of your forehead or your intuition creativity point, inhale, and then exhale your pyramid down to the earth. So if your glutes need to come up, that's absolutely fine. So if you're here, 
that's fine. If you're here, this is also fine. Breathe here and pause. This is the pause portion of your portion of your creativity. Maybe you've had one of those moments where you tried so hard to figure something out, to make something work, and it just wasn't working because you needed to pause. You needed to take a break, not do anything for a while, and just let the magic happen. Inhale. Pause and exhale. Pause. Inhale. Pause and exhale. Pause. Now leave your pyramid rooted in the earth, but when you're ready, lift your intuition center, lift your head, and lift your chest, and then release your pyramid. And walk your hands back so that they are parallel with your boots. Keep your big toes touched, keep your knees wide. I like to be on my fists for this, but maybe you like to extend your fingers. Your fingers can be out to the side or they can be behind you. We'll do a few rounds so that you can find your sweet spot here. Baby kill. So your big toes are touching, your knees are wide. On an inhale, you're going to lift your hips as far as they go, which might not be very far on the first time. Maybe you'll feel the activation in the front of your thighs. Maybe you'll also feel it in your hip flexors. And then release. Bring your glutes back to your heels, release your hands, bring them to your knees, take a round of breath, inhale. Pause and exhale. When you inhale, hands go back behind you when you're ready. Exhale, pull your shoulder blades back together and lift your hips. Maybe it's a little higher this time. You can release your head back if that feels okay on your neck, keep breathing. And then the next time you exhale, bring your glutes down to your heels. Hands come to your thighs, round of breath, inhale. Pause and exhale. Last round, inhale, hands come behind you. Exhale, pull the shoulder blades together, lift your hips, maybe release your neck, maybe you've got a little more mobility on the third time. Breathe, open your heart to the sky. Exhale, return, boots to your heels, hands come to the front. Swing your legs out to the side so you're sitting on your bottom. Feet flat to the earth. Open your legs as wide as they naturally go for you, right? Whatever the natural width is. So the toes are pointing out to the sides. You're opening your inner thighs here. Again, bring your hands behind you and push yourself up for support so that you're in a squat. So maybe you've got a block or a blanket that you want to sit on in your squat. Maybe you want to keep your hands behind you in your squat, that's okay. If you don't need support, then you can bring your elbows and your knees and you can bring your prayer hands together. Or maybe you wanna try ta and his scepter again. So right fist on the bottom, left fist on top. Triceps are opening your thighs. So Amun had a vision for what the earth was going to be before the earth was created. And Ta was the God who transformed that vision into physical reality. So the new moon would be primordial origins, oceans of the earth. So that's where we are right now, pre-creation in the earth. And then Ta with his verbal affirmations, his word or vibrations, caused the ocean to take the very forms of creation. So when you're ready, inhale, rise from your squat to creation. And when you're ready, exhale, come back down to new pre-creation. This motion is also important for us when it comes to creativity because sometimes we have to go to the dark, quiet places in order to inhale and rise, come to the outward places of creation. Exhale back down to new. The darkness, the ideation points are the yin aspects of life, the darker and softer sides. But as we inhale and rise, we manifest the yang aspects of life, the outward forms of creation. So here, reach through your ring fingers, reach up to the sky, let your shoulders creep up to your ears. Reach, reach, reach. This is creation, manifestation. Inhale, exhale, arms come down by your sides. Let it go and shake it out. Whatever your body needs right now, go ahead and give it. The next part of our flow is all about exploration with our bodies. Play with your body's edges, 
play with different variations that I'll offer you for the positions. Sometimes we just different need, we need different experiences to activate our creativity. We're also going to be up and down a bit as we modify the sun salutation. So every time we come down and closer to the earth, I want you to think about the yin aspects of creativity where you have to be alone, where you have to experience a little bit of darkness, where you have to ideate, and create visions for what you want. And then when we rise, I want you to think about outward manifestations of creativity. This is where you build, this is where you create, this is where the things that you were working on alone come alive in community. So when you're ready, meet me at the top of your map. I'll face forward so you can see me for now. Zip up again into top, that's comfortable. Now, if going into lunges with your legs touching is not gonna be comfortable for you, you can also step your feet to the other hips of the park. So you find your sweet spot. But if you can, zip up into top, do so. Comedic palms, all four fingers touching in front of your legs. And bend your knees just slightly. And again, tuck that pelvis that we practiced before. So your knees are bent just slightly when you're ready. You'll inhale your arms all the way up to the sky. And as you exhale, your palms will touch and you'll bring a pyramid down in front of you. So your triceps are about shoulder height and you're looking through your pyramid. And you bend your knees just slightly. Now straighten your legs, bring your arms up to the sky, inhale, release your palms, and then exhale, push your hips forward. Thumb comes to your index finger and your elbows come to the side of your body, just like top or a back bend. Inhale, reach those hands up to the sky, release your hips. Exhale, palms come together again, bend your knees, look through your pyramid. Inhale, press your pyramid forward, straighten your legs. And then exhale, fold forward and bring your pyramid down towards the earth, your palms down towards the earth. Release your palms, bring the back of your hands or your knuckles to the earth. Also release the crown of your head as we fold. Bend your knees as much as you need to here in this forward fold. Grab the back of the legs just above the ankles. And as an exhale, pull your elbows straight back behind you as you bring your chest to your thighs and the top of your head down towards the earth. Return to your Delta Rock Nation pyramid and press it into the earth. So this is our deepest forward bend. Bend your knees, even if you don't need to. Everybody, bend your knees. Bring your chest to your thighs. The crown of your head comes towards the earth. Breathe, go inward. Then release your pyramid. I like to bring my hands as wide as the mat. Inhale, pick up your left foot and step it back for a lunge. Now adjust yourself here. For me, that means I need to bring my right foot forward and out to the right a little bit so that I feel balanced. You don't want to be on a tightrope. Think of your legs as more on a train track so that you feel balanced here. And that the right knee is over the right ankle. Inhale. And then exhale, bring your left knee down to the earth. Inhale, pick up your left foot. And then exhale, bring the top of the left foot to the earth. Once you feel balanced, hug underneath your right knee. So return to your top fist, hug underneath your right knee. Inhale, bring your arms three-fourths of the way up. Exhale, palms touch. Inhale, left hand comes on top of the right. Exhale, both hands come down to your right knee. Now, this is where we explore. Maybe you stay right here. For me, this box is giving me enough activation in the front of my thigh. Others of you might release your hips forward so the back leg is a little bit straighter and you get even more activation. So some of you might stay right here. Others of you might return to the mantra, the thumb and index finger touch, bring your shoulder blades together and have a back bend. Open your heart to the sky. Maybe you release your head all the way back. Some of you might even be able to get your fingertips to touch the earth. You can see that's not my ministry, but if you can, <laughs> give it a try. If you took the back bend, straighten your spine, return your hands to your knees, left hand on top, inhale. Exhale, chest comes to your thighs. Hands come to frame your foot. Tuck your left toes, your back toes. Inhale, bring that knee off the earth. Exhale, step your right foot back to meet the left and we're in a full body pyramid here. 
ears between your biceps, and go for a little walk again with your legs. So you're on the balls of your toes, lowering one heel at a time, noticing how it feels now in this position. Chest is moving towards your thighs. You can shake your head yes to relax your neck. Then come up on the balls of your feet. Exhale your knees, slowly and lightly to the earth, much slower than you think you should go. Feel your core activate. Maybe you hold and cover your knees over the mat for a second or two. Then exhale your knees all the way down to the earth. Inhale, pick up your toes. Exhale, bring your feet flat to the earth. Glutes come to your heels. Delta Rock Nation Pyramid in the center of your forehead. Press it down to the earth. Knees together if you can this time. And don't worry, if your booty is up in the air, that is perfectly fine. Pause. Breathe. Inhale. Pause. And exhale. When you're ready to rise, you know what to do. Leave your pyramid on the earth. Creativity, intuition point comes up first. The rest of your head, your chest. Now you can always come to tabletop as a transition or extend your arms as far as they'll go with your chest on your thighs. I like to point my middle fingers toward the tops of the mat, bend the elbows out to the side, take my third eye, my nose, my chin, my chest through to Wajet or Cobra. So we've got a little back bend here. Breathe. Tuck your toes. Inhale your hips back up to the sky for a full body pyramid. Walk your feet together. Inhale your left foot up to the sky. And then exhale, step it through for a lunge. Adjust as much as you need to. Maybe you need to walk that left foot forward and over like I'm doing. Get comfortable. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, bend your right knee down to the earth. Inhale, pick up your lower leg. Exhale, top of the feet, return to the earth. Same thing on the other side. Hug underneath that right leg. Inhale, your arms three-fourths away up. Exhale, palms touch. Inhale, left hand on top of the right. Exhale, hands down to your knees. Maybe you stay here. Inhale. Maybe on an exhale, you bring the hips forward, deep in the stretch. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you interlace the hands behind your back. Press the palms down. Pull your shoulder blades together. Maybe you just bring your vision up. Some of you might be able to release your neck back. Listen to your body. Breathe. Activate the energy centers. If you came into a back bend, release. Return the palms to your knees. The next time you exhale, chest to your thighs, bring your foot, tuck your back toes, inhale, return to your lunge, exhale, step forward at the front of your mat, forward fold. Palms face the body, bend your knees just slightly, inhale, bring your arms up as you rise, palms touch, Exhale, look through that pyramid. If your palms are in prayer, you're looking through a pyramid, your knees are slightly bent. Inhale, straighten your legs, release that pyramid to the sky. Exhale, push your hips forward, return to your back bend. Thumb and index fingers touch, elbows into the body like top, breathe. On your next inhale, release the back bend, straighten the spine, arms up to the sky. Release your mudra, return to your pyramid, bend your knees. Look through your pyramid, triceps come to shoulder height. Inhale, straighten your legs, press your palms forward. Exhale, forward fold. We'll go again. Back of the knuckles, touch the earth. Again, release your neck here. It's so important to release your neck in your forward fold. Bend your knees as much as you need to. Inhale, grab the back of the legs just above the ankles. This time, pull the elbows out wide to the side like we did with Lajet. Chest to your thighs. Form your pyramid, press it into the earth. Bend your knees, chest to your thighs. Top of the head releases towards the earth. Release your pyramid. Use your hands to frame your foot. Shift your weight into your right foot. Inhale, pick up that left foot. 
and extend it back into a lunge. Adjust your right foot as much as you need to. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, left knee comes to the earth. Inhale, pick up the lower leg. Exhale, back to the earth. You know what to do. Hug underneath that right leg. Inhale, three-fourths the way up. Exhale, palm stretch. Inhale, left palm on top of the right. Exhale, palms come down to your knees. And again, we're exploring here. So do what feels good to your body. I'm going to stay right here this time. Maybe you release your hips forward. Maybe you take the back bend. Maybe you interlace your hands behind your back. Maybe you take the mudra. Do what feels good for your body. Tip of the tongue to the back of the teeth. Inhale. Pause and exhale. Pause. If you took a back bend, inhale, return to stacking the spine. Exhale, lean forward, chest comes to the thighs. Bring your foot with your hands. Tuck your back toes. Inhale, come up on a lunge. We're going to do something different this time. So take your right hand inside your right foot, flat to the earth. Spread your fingers wide, flat to the earth. Your back leg, the left leg that's extended, step it up about a footprint and bring the foot flat to the earth. So the foot is pointing at about a 45 degree angle. Now you can stay here with your palm rooted to the earth, or you can bring your elbow to your knee. But wherever you are, I want you to lift your left arm up to the sky so you can trace just like we traced before. We're in that twist, yes. Stack your shoulders. Inhale, exhale, turn your head to look toward the earth. Inhale, your head to center. Exhale, turn your head to look towards the sky. Return your head to center. And this time, raise your torso and your arm up so that you would be in a warrior two. Now adjust yourself as much as you need to here. We want heel arch alignment. So maybe that means you walk your front foot towards the middle a little bit. So you feel balanced and strong. Long line of energy in this leg. Hematic triangle. Bend your knee as much as you can. So towards 90 degrees. I may never get there. That's a little closer, but that's all I got, right? <laughs> Arms are strong. Reach through your, in your middle fingers. Vision is looking over your bent leg. Inhale. Exhale and reverse. So bring your right arm up to the sky. Your left arm comes down your leg, or maybe it wraps behind your back and grabs your hip. Reach now through your ring finger. So reach up to the sky first, and then lean back. You've got a little more mobility. So we're opening up the side body, turning the heart towards the sky, keeping the bend in the front leg. We are so active right now. Exploring the body's edges, breathe. And then exhale, release. Come back to warrior two at a kinetic triangle. Inhale, straighten your front leg. Maybe step in the back leg just a little bit. And we'll come to the mod twist. So inhale, reach forward as much as you can. And then exhale, bring your right hand somewhere inside your right leg and your left arm stacks so that the arms are at six and 12. Inhale, exhale, turn your head to look towards the earth. Inhale, your head to center. Exhale, turn your head to look towards the sky. When you're ready, inhale, release, back to Kometa Triangle or Warrior Two. Then that front knee again. Exhale, cartwheel your arms down so that you're back into your lunge. Maybe you walk that right foot over to the right a little bit. Step your right foot back to meet the left. Back to pyramid. Walk your pyramid, ears between your arms. Inhale up on your toes. Exhale your knees down to the earth. Slowly and mindfully pause and hold, create some heat. Then bring the knees to the earth. Inhale, pick your feet up. Exhale, tops of the feet down. You know what to do. Glutes to your heels. Find the pyramid on your intuition center. Hold. Let's do Haru, pose of a child. Pause and rest. Inhale. Pause and exhale. Pause when you're ready. 
Raise your intuition center first. Keep your pyramid rooted to the earth. Chest stays on your thighs, thighs are together. Release the pyramid, point the index fingers towards the top of the mat, prepare for wajet. Elbows bend out to the right and left. Intuition center, nose, chin, chest, pull your body through. Lift up for a back bend. Tuck your toes. Inhale your hips up towards the sky. Zip your body together like top. Inhale, left foot up to the sky. Exhale, step the left foot through for a lunge. We've got to do the other side. Adjust yourself in this lunge. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, knee to the earth. Inhale, pick up the lower leg. Exhale, release it back down. Hug underneath your left leg. Inhale, your arms three-fourths the way up. Exhale, palms touch. Inhale, left hand on top of the right. Exhale, palms come down to your thigh. Inhale, relax your shoulders. Exhale, maybe you stay here. Maybe you release the hips forward. Maybe you interlace your hands. Maybe you take the back bend. Maybe you take the mudra. Maybe you release your head. Tip the tongue to the back of the teeth. Breathe. Inhale. Pause and exhale. Pause. If you took the back bend, stack your shoulders over your hips. Inhale. Exhale, chest comes to your thighs. Release your hands. Bring your foot. Tuck your back toes. Inhale. Lift the knee and the leg off the earth. Left hand comes inside the left foot. Set that right foot forward about a foot grip. Maybe you hang out here. Maybe the elbow comes to the thigh. Either way, trace that arm up towards the sky. Stack your shoulders, six and 12. Inhale. Exhale, turn your head to look towards the earth. Inhale, your head to center. Exhale, turn your head to look towards the sky. Inhale, raise your torso. Come at a triangle. Adjust yourself, heel to arch alignment. For me, that always means walking in my front foot. Front leg is bending towards 90. Long line of energy in the back leg. Knife edge side of the foot is pointing to the edge of the mat. Arms strong, pull your shoulder blades together behind you. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, reverse. So lift your top arm up to the sky. The back arm comes down your leg or you wrap it around your waist. Reach through the ring finger first. Inhale. And then exhale, lean back for whatever mobility you have. Breathe. Inhale, release. Return to kinetic triangle. Step the back foot in just a little bit. Maybe one or two steps. Straighten the front leg. We're going to the mock twist. Reach forward as much as you can. And then bring the arms to six and 12. So the left arm is somewhere in the left leg. Maybe it's even here in your inner thigh, maybe by your calf, maybe you can be inside your ankle or arch, stack, inhale. Exhale, turn your head to look towards the earth. Inhale, your head to center. Exhale, turn your head to look towards the sky. Breathe here. On your next inhale, return to Kometic Triangle. Bend your knees, parallel your arms towards the earth. Inhale. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down, return to your lunge. Frame your foot, come back up on the balls of your back feet, and step forward, forward, forward. Palms are facing the body, knees are slightly bent. Inhale, raise those arms up towards the sky as you straighten your leg. Palms touch. Exhale, bend your knees and look through your pyramid, bend your knees slightly. Inhale, straighten your legs. Release your pyramid up towards the sky. Open your palms. Exhale, push your hips forward. Thumb and index finger touch. Ta elbows into the body. Back bend. Breathe. Inhale, release the back bend. Release the mudra. Arms up to the sky. Palms touch. Exhale, bring, bend your knees. Return to your pyramid. Look through. Inhale, straight your legs. Press your prayer arms forward. Exhale. Hinge forward, pull your belly button to your spine, back to forward fold. Exhale, bring your knuckles to the earth, release the crown of your head. Grab the back of the legs just behind the ankles. 
Pull the elbows straight back behind you, chest to your thighs, release the neck. Release the back of the legs, create your pyramid, press it into the earth. Open your palms. Shift your weight into your right foot, take a big step back with your left foot. One more round. Inhale, exhale, lower your knee down to the earth. Inhale, pick up your back foot. Exhale, top of the foot to the earth. Hug underneath that right leg. Inhale, your arms three-fourths the way up. Exhale, palms touch. Inhale, left hand on top of the right. Exhale, hands down to your knees. So this round, you know what to do. Play, explore with your body. We're going to add on just a little bit, but if there's another pose that we previously did that's more familiar to you, that's where you want to stay, then by all means, please stay there. So again, maybe releasing your hips forward, maybe to the back bend here. Inhale, turn to a straight spine. Exhale, chest comes to your thighs, bring your foot, tuck your back toes. Inhale, pick up the back leg. Right hand comes inside the right foot. Step forward that footprint. The next time you inhale, trace your arms, stack your arms, six and 12. Inhale, exhale, turn your head to look towards the earth. Inhale, your head to center. Exhale, look towards your raised arm. Inhale, raise your torso and your arms, kinetic triangle. Adjust yourself, walk your feet in as much as you need to. Inhale, reverse. Right arm comes up towards the sky. Reach through the index finger first, then lean back. Inhale, we're trying to kinetic triangle, parallel the arms. Step the foot in just a little bit. Ma'at twist, inhale, reach forward as far as you can first, sorry, and straighten that front leg. And then exhale the arms to six and 12. Right arm somewhere in the right leg, inhale. Exhale, turn your head to look towards the earth. Inhale, your head to center. Exhale, look towards the sky. Inhale, return to kinetic triangle, raise your torso, bend into the front leg. Then you can stay here, or you can go back down to where we were in the mock twist. If you want a little bit of extra, left hand comes to your left hip, right hand reaches towards the earth further than your right foot for a half moon. So you'll shift your weight into your right foot for balance. Bring your left foot up so the leg is parallel with the hip. Maybe you can extend the left hand up to the sky. Look down towards the earth. Maybe you can release the earth with your right hand and balance. Breathe. Maybe you release back into Kometic Triangle from here, or bring your left hand down to the earth, close your hips to a neutral position so the toes are pointing down instead of out and out. Flatten your lower spine for a standing split. Again, maybe you can release the earth and grab your ankles. And then whenever you're ready, whatever position you're in, step back and return to your lunge. From your lunge, inhale, Right foot comes back, return to pyramid, walk your pyramid. Inhale up on the balls of your feet. Exhale, knees slowly and mindfully come to the earth. Hover just a few inches before the earth. Exhale, the knees all the way down. Inhale, pick the feet up. Exhale, tops the feet down. Mesu Haru, return to your child's pose with the triangle, the pyramid around your intuition point. Pause and breathe. Almost there, almost in the home stretch. Breathe here. I'll fix the mat function. When you're ready, press your pyramid into the earth. Lift up your intuition point. Chest stays close to your thighs, wajet. Middle fingers pointing out to the edges of the mat. Bend your elbows, intuition point, nose, chin, chest, snakes through, back bend. Tuck your toes. Inhale your hips up to the sky. Tie your legs. Inhale your left foot up to the sky. Exhale, step it through for lunge. Adjust yourself as much as you need to. Inhale, look forward. 
Exhale, knee to the earth. Inhale, pick up the lower leg. Exhale, release. Hold underneath the right leg. Inhale, arms three-fourths the way up. Exhale, palms touch. Inhale, left hand on top of the right. Exhale, hands to your knee. Do what feels good for your body here. Release your shoulders. Tip of the tongue to the back of the teeth. Breathe. If you took a back bend, stack your shoulders over your hips. On an inhale, exhale, chest comes towards your thighs, hands straight your foot, tuck your toes. Inhale, your back leg straight. Left hand inside the left foot. Step up that back leg, just a footprint. Inhale, trace your arm up to the sky. Arms at six and 12, unless you got your elbow on your knee, which is fine. Inhale. Exhale, turn your head to look towards the earth. Inhale, your head to center. Exhale, turn your head to look towards the sky. Inhale, raise your torso, parallel your arms towards the earth. Adjust your feet, heel to arch alignment. Long line of energy in the back leg. Palms parallel the earth. Bend in your front leg. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, reverse. Hand comes down, the right hand comes down your leg or wraps around your back. Reach through the ring finger first, and then reverse. Inhale, release back to Kometic Triangle. Walk the foot in just a little bit. Straighten the front leg. Going to mock twist. Inhale, reach forward first. Exhale. Left hand comes somewhere in the left leg. Arms at six and 12, step. Inhale, exhale, turn your head to look towards the earth. Inhale, center. Exhale, turn your head to look towards the sky. Inhale, bend your front knee, raise your torso, parallel the arms. Maybe you step in just a little bit more. Right hand comes to the right hip, left arm reaches out in front of the left foot, balance on the left foot. Flex the right foot, leg is in alignment with the hip. Maybe the right arm stretches to the side. Maybe you can release the earth with the left hand, balance and breathe. You can always come back. Oh, if you fall out, come back in. <laughs> Return to the Kometic Triangle. Or bring your right hand down to the earth. Clo close the hip. Hands spreading the left foot. Or they grab the back of the ankles. Balance. And then step forward, forward, forward. We made it. Bend your knees. Inhale your arms up to the sky, straighten your leg. Palms touch, form your pyramid, bend your knees, look through your pyramid, triceps parallel with the shoulders. Inhale, pyramid to the sky, straighten your legs. Exhale, push the hips forward, thumb to index, finger mudra, elbows and top. Inhale, arms up to the sky. Return to your pyramid. Exhale, bend your knees, look through your pyramid. Inhale, press the palms forward as you straighten your legs. And then exhale, release the palms so they're in front of the body. And then shake it out. Notice how that expiration felt on your body. All we have left to do is pause, affirm, and decide. So let's return to our squat. Step your feet out as wide as your mat. Inhale, arms up to the sky. Exhale, bend your knees slowly and mindfully to return to a squat. Maybe you return to the pot, the top step, scepter. The left fist on top of the right. Breathe, inhale. Exhale, release your hands and use them to drop your bottom to the earth. Release your feet, bring the soles of your feet together. So you're in a diamond shape here. Give the soles of your feet a massage. So take those thumbs and like press into your heels, press into your arches, arches, massage your metatarsals, massage the balls of your feet, give love to your toes. We asked our feet to do a lot in practice today. And when you feel complete, we're going to fold forward here. So maybe this is you right here. No, no pulling, no activations, just let your body collapse forward. Let your back round. 
Your diamond should be in a comfortable position, not too tight. And you can stay here. If you feel like you want more activation, you can make sure you have enough room behind you to lie down. Bring your hands on the outside of your thighs, bring your elbows to the earth, and then just lie back. And if you want to grab opposite elbows, you can. If you're lying down, you're also opening your heart at the same time that you're opening your inner legs, getting some activation in your outer thighs. Tip of the tongue to the back of the teeth. Pause. Breathe. You can stay here if this feels good. If you want to twist, if your arms are overhead, release your arms down by your sides, release the back of your legs flat to the earth. Bring your left knee into your chest, squeeze your left knee into your chest. Right hand comes outside the left knee to twist. The left arm extends straight. If you'd like to make a loose fist and honor tie, you can. And you can stay here in this twist. Or you can straighten your top leg as much as it'll go. Some of you might even be able to grab your big toe um, with your peace fingers. And maybe this is enough for you with the left arm going straight and the left leg going straight. Some of you might want to bend the bottom leg, bend the right knee, capture the top of the foot with your left hand, and you can get more activation in the front of your bottom leg. Three, wherever you are. Again, we're exploring the body, exploring the body's edges. What works for you? When you're ready, release. And we can go to the other side. Squeeze the knee into the chest. Bring the knee across the body. You can extend the right arm straight in a loose fist. Maybe you extend the top leg too. Maybe you bend the bottom leg, take the right hand, secure the top of the left foot. Breathe. You can hold it a little longer or you can come to your final rest. We'll take supine ta today. So zip up, ankles touching, knees touching, thighs touching, elbows into your side, right fist on your torso, left fist on top. Close your eyes. In this affirm position, I encourage you to repeat to yourself, I live in the spirit of creativity. I live in the spirit of creativity.
And now it's time to decide. So before you leave your top position, bring your problem or your project back to mind. Maybe there's an immediate solution that comes to mind. Maybe it still needs more time to marinate. Just repeat, repeat the mantra, I live in the spirit of creativity. If you're still holding ta in the front of your chest, release your fists, place your arms down by your sides. On an inhale, bring your legs in to your chest. Give yourself a big hug. You can rock from side to side on your low back or take circles. And then rock over to your left side, your yin side, your creative side. Take a full round of comedic breath in this position. Inhale. Pause and exhale. Pause. And when you're ready, push yourself up to seated. At the end of Kometic Yoga practice, we say Hotep, which means peace be unto you. Hotep to all of you. Thank you so much for joining me in Kometic Yoga.